Welcome to the Fruits Dojo. I trust that you are here to redeem yourself. There's a whole new genre of interactive music video games. Here's an inside look at how it began. Are you ready, young one? I shall give you my best. People always have kind of a wall between music and life. I am a musician, so I don't feel any um, wall between music and me. So I want to erase this kind of wall. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'm sure you'll find the things I'll teach you. Sure to beat you. Nevertheless, you get a lesson from teacher. Now kick. So if people can perform without thinking about the music, maybe it's happy and fun. As a boy, Masaya Matsuda loved playing keyboards in Space Invaders. As a musician, he played in a rock group called Size and composed for TV and radio ads. But he always felt he was creating for everyone's needs but his own. I discovered that if the creative motivation only comes from the outside, all the efforts are just to fill the order. In the end, nothing of your true self ever comes through. So in the mid-90s, he dissolved the band and stopped commercial work, and he staked everything on combining music and video into a new kind of game. It wasn't easy. But I cannot say that the production proper went smoothly. We didn't have anybody with console game experience. Some of the companies we were working with almost went out of business. One after another, there were all kinds of accidents and problems. A key team member even ended up in the hospital after a traffic accident. The entire two years were like that. But in December of 1996, the world's first next-generation interactive music video game was released in Japan. It opened up a new genre, paving the way for games like Spice World and Busta Groove. Yo, yo, yo! Check this out! It's party time! Party time in the house! For those who perhaps haven't heard of part of it's a rap game. Basically, the player follows a short word sung by the sensei and presses the button in rhythm to the rap. The rhythm of the sensei is shown on the top of the screen as button symbols. The player just has to follow along and press buttons as shown to the beat. <laughs> If the player presses the wrong button or is off the beat, the score will go down. The game actually has four different soundtracks for four different player ranks, woven into a single track. As the player rises or falls in rank, the track changes appropriately in real time. It's a breakthrough in programming. I am a chicken from the kitchen, and I ain't kidding, although nothing is written. You are a chicken from the kitchen, and you ain't kidding, although nothing is written. And that's why I chose PlayStation. This kind of technology is only for PlayStation. To attain a cool rank, simply following the rhythm of the sensor is not enough. The player must be able to agree beyond the rhythm and button command of the sensei. So I will show you how to get cool. Parappa won more than a dozen awards including Game of the Year in Japan and Most Innovative Game at E3 and the Computer Game Developers Conference. Sales took off worldwide, and today it's available in nearly 50 countries. Is it still a video game if there's no competitive scoring? To Matsuda-san, there's only one way to measure it. It's all yours. That was close. You still like to enjoy the game? Yeah. <laughs> 